Hey, welcome aboard. Uh, we're down at the marina today and we are gonna give you a review of a Sea Ray 510 Sundancer. This boat right here behind me. So uh, let's jump right into it. So let's start with the exterior of this vessel. This is 2015 Sundancer Sea Ray 510. It's 51 feet long with a semi-displacement hull. It's powered by twin diesel Cummins with Zeus drives that have Skyhook technology integrated into them. And the first thing you notice when you take a look at this boat are these windows down the whole sides of it, adding to the styling of the vessel. It makes it look very sporty. And then as you come to the stern and approach the transom, you'll see the Sundancer in chrome, as well as the chrome grates for the engine compartment. And you step onto the platform back here, first thing you realize is that the whole boat's laid down in teak. And it has a hydraulic swim platform, but rather large tender attached to it. Uh, this tender is about 13 feet, which the extra foot you get with a 13 foot tender makes a huge difference. Opposite the tender on the transom down here, we have compartments for storage, as well as compartments over here to give you access to all your boat's utilities, like the shore cable, the hydraulic controls, and the freshwater regulator valve. This boat has diesel fills on both sides of the stern transom, as well as a waist pump out right there. There are a few rod holders on the boat, but they're not entirely necessary for this style of boat. There's no bait tank or anything. So you can walk down both sides of the vessel. However, there's really only access on the starboard side. And there's this nice railing up here up top. And then the railing down here. It's not much of a fall risk. And this is all wrapped in teak as well. And you have your anchor locker here on the front, windlass. The anchor locker is pretty sizable. You can access it on both sides. Your controls for your windlass are right here. Your feet controls, there's also controls at the helm. There's some nice railing here with some handles. As well as some cup holders. And then these pads also flip up into a reclining position. Up here in the rear cockpit, you have a wood table. And then nice seating all the way around. That'll fit about eight to 10 people as well as good stitching on the vinyl, as well as a couple of cup holders spaced about. Underneath all these seats is storage, extra storage, and that goes around the whole length of the seats. And then behind me here is a grill. Electric king on grill with a heat shield above it. And then underneath these compartments is an ice maker as well as a top shield for the grill, which is really neat. You can install that on the back of the grill right here with these tabs. And that way you can close it off to retain heat. And then once you head inside, you can see that the rear cockpit has a shade extension that comes all the way out on a button. So now let's check out the engine room down here. The hatch is located in the stern cockpit area. We got a little ladder for easy access. So down here, the boat has twin QSC-8 Cummins diesel engines that put out 600 horsepower each at 3,000 RPMs. And those are attached to Zeus pods back here in the stern that are able to control the boat in any direction. Uh, other stuff down here, we have the Cable Master shoreline system. And then over here, we have a Cummins owning generator uh, to give AC power to the whole boat. So something I like to do when I get to the engine rooms of boats is what I call the Christian test. Uh, the Christian test is named after my boat partner, Christian, who over years I've conditioned to make think that I can't repair anything. Um, so he shoves himself behind our engines and fixes everything for me, which is perfect. But for these reviews, I like to do a version of the Christian test where I try to put myself behind engines. So this is the engine right here on the starboard side. So you're gonna prop this up and get back there. Uh, okay, starboard side, very accessible. Um, actually incredibly accessible, probably more so than, than most boats I'm on. All right, port side, opposite side test, where the generator is. Uh, um, not really all that hard either. This boat for sure 
gets good points for the Christian test. You can pretty much access everything back here, no matter where it is, pretty easily, uh, without any issues, which is an incredibly underrated trait to have in a vessel. Down here below me are the battery boxes, and you also have some fresh water down here, which is cool. Fireboy suppression system, which is nice in case of an emergency. Some fun little containers over there so you can hold extra fluid. That's kind of, that's kind of neat and useful. Um, not on this side though. And then uh, this is all your equipment for your hydraulic swim step. And your sea strainers, which are super accessible. Shut that. This door is also very nice. It's heavily tinted and it opens all the way up by pushing this handle in like this. You know, let's do it with one hand and slide the door all the way open, which opens up the entire salon. All right, and as you enter the salon, first thing you notice is a table here with seating all the way around it. Um, on the other side to your right, on the starboard, right when you walk in, there's a wet bar, a TV, sink, a little trash can area right in there. Underneath here, you've got a, all of your drawers specifically for alcohol and booze and some Tums. Um, over on this side, you got an ice maker, Blu-ray player, another drawer up there. This whole thing opens up. See if I can get that set up for you guys right now. So this isn't a feature I've ever used on this boat, but the whole helm seat will turn to sort of give you access to the people around you a little better. Doesn't seem to be incredibly helpful while driving uh, to be at that angle. It looks like it would be a little inconvenient to you. You do it by just pulling on this latch right here, and then you can twist it, let go. And this is actually not that difficult, but I just have stuff in the way behind the chair over here. There we go. Uh, moving up here, we have the helm, cup holder for my T as you can see. And then, uh, two Raymarine systems, a Merc Cruiser system up there, if your ACR Spotlight, um, Precision Autopilot, which is driven off of this one, VHF, horn, all the normal stuff, nav lights, things like that. Start, stop is over here, behind the steering wheel. Your throttles are right here, which are very comfortable spot. And then your joystick for your Merc Cruiser Zeus pods are right here. And over here on the port side, before you go down the stairs, you have a little compartment right here. You'll notice that there's no bulkhead here covering this. So this whole thing is open, which is great for people like me that are tall, but it's also great because it lets in a lot of natural light down here and it makes it feel very spacious. Um, it's a little vaulted like cathedral glass ceiling, um, which is really enjoyable. Uh, to the starboard side, you have a couch that makes into a bed a mirror on the wall over there. Uh, these windows are really nice because when you look at the outside of the boat, it looks like the whole downstairs of the boat is one big window, uh, which wouldn't make the hull very strong. But these are actually curved um, and strengthened, so you don't actually have that big of a surface area. And you can see it over here on the galley side as well. Um, over here on the galley side, you have a Cuisinart microwave, even the refrigerator, an isotherm. Um, fridge up top, freezer below. Uh, you have a Kenyan electric stove, storage in all these compartments for drinks, glasses, um, underneath here for trash bags, uh, whatever you need. Uh, more drawers down here. The entertainment system over here has a Bose sound system throughout, um, another TV, and it's connected to some Bose and some Blu-ray players and a Sirius XM radio. Um, what's also really nice, which I like a lot, is down here there's a little C-Ray hookup, which makes it easy for you to put in anything you want to the TV. So if you want to put your laptop on it, um, you know, fire stick, anything like that, you don't have to take the whole thing apart. You can just plug it in right there. This boat has an entertainment system that's operated on iPads, so you can control all the TVs and your stations from the iPads. As we move forward, we'll reach our control panel. Control panel's laid out pretty nicely. Um, this is where the stereo is and where the track vision is, and the DirecTV as well. Um, it's got pretty much all your standard stuff. 
uh, battery switches here, um, controls for the generator, water levels, waste levels, all your AC powers up top, all your DCs down below. As we move forward, we get into the V berth, the front V berth, which on this boat is a bit of a storage area. Um, but it's pretty spacious. Uh, this bed, I learned, actually angles up. Um, I've never done it, but uh, there's a closet over here on this side. And then over here on this side, there's a little television um, and your own little media system. Uh, this room's actually really spacious. Uh, there's a hatch up top as well. But this room's actually really spacious. Uh, you can fit about more than two stand-up paddleboard uh, inflatable bags in here. So um, it's a good size. As you can see, we have our Christmas lights in here as well. Um, and then just off of this little lower slot area, we have one of the first heads. Um, it's a full head, shower, bathroom. Obligatory, don't flush anything down here that's not toilet paper sign, because that happens constantly. Uh, we have a nice bowl sink here. Um, stainless. There's nice little racks for everything. Um, this odor, is, I believe, is probably most supposed to be for soap, but holds the odor really well. And then another compartment underneath here to store toilet paper, things like that, as well as up top here. As we move aft, we get into the main berth. And this is the whole beam of the boat, which is really nice. Um, it's really large down here. Uh, we have a little more stuff we're storing over there. But on this side, you have your sink, which is outside the restroom, which is nice when there's two people trying to get ready in the morning. Um, more windows and blinds down here, so let in a little natural light. Same as on the other side above the headboard up there. Um, the ceiling in here is a little low for someone. Um, I'm pretty tall. You'd probably have to be, uh, you'd probably have to be about five, four. No, no, that's wrong. You probably have to be about five, eight maybe to comfortably not have to stand and duck your head in here. Um, another television on the wall right here with an entertainment system, another Bose soundbar above it. Uh, storage along the sides. And then under here, we have a washer dryer for laundry. And then just another shower and head in here. Um, everything in the boats Pretty easy to access. Uh, there's hatches underneath most of the boat for you to get whatever you need to get. Something else to notice about the boat is the floor is all this distressed wood. And it looks like it's worn from use, but it's actually the way the wood's supposed to look, which is great because it stands up really well over time. And then the last thing you'll notice as you come up the stairs of the boat is the blind system up top here. All of these slide back and have glass windows that provide you more light. And then this half, closer to the forward part of the boat, slides back on a button down here as a skylight. Um, see so if I'll be able to do it holding the camera, because you have to flip this pin to let it release. There you go, and it opens up. That slides all the way back. So now we have a convertible. This is a super useful option because I know that we have the cover over the windshield here, but if you look through it, the bow of the boat, when you're underway in the ocean, gets out of the water a bit, and there is enough visibility for you to be able to completely drive the boat from here, but it is always nice to have more visibility. Um, so something I like to do and all the captains really like to do on this boat is stand on the seat. And if you stand on the seat, when you stand on the seat, out in the ocean, underway on autopilot, you get to see everything. While we're up here, let's check out the arch behind me. Um, the arch goes over the glass a little bit, which is kind of cool. 
Um, it's structural that way. Uh, we have our Raymarine radar up here. We have our track vision back there. Um, there's another digital TV display antenna over there. Um, some forward facing speakers uh, and the VHF and your GPS systems. Um, they're not very high. The VHF is high, but it's easy to put down from the side of the boat over here. Um, everything else is fairly low. It's probably only three, maybe four feet higher than the top of the boat. So that brings the total score for the Sea Ray. Oh damn, I need to redo all that in this light now. So now let's go through the stars for the Sea Ray 510. Practicality, this boat is the perfect size and layout for a small family or a couple. And for that reason, it gets four stars. The styling is much approved from earlier Sea Ray models. However, it still has some of the same accents that they used to. This boat's great for being under the radar for a boat its size. And for that reason, I give it three stars. The handling on this boat's incredible. It cuts through the water with the Zeus pods and it makes it very easy to dock and maneuver in small places. For, for that reason, I give it four stars. The performance on this vessel is excellent for its size. It doesn't go faster than it needs to go. Um, it has just enough power. The boat is powered by twin Cummins with 600 horsepower each, and it cruises at a speed of about 21 knots at 40 gallons per hour with a, with a 200 nautical mile range, and it'll top out at about 31 knots. For that reason, I get performance four stars. For comfort, this boat has all the amenities you would need in day-to-day -day life, uh, fridges, stoves, everything like that, so I give it four stars. The technology in this boat is great. It has everything you need for entertainment as well as covers all the marine electronics, so I give it four stars. The value for this price is great and it's not overpriced for its size. It gives you everything you need in a vessel, so it gets five stars. In the party boat category, this vessel has a great sound system and a perfect layout for entertaining. Uh, it does, however, make it difficult for the skipper to see past the bow, which is where people like to hang out a lot. So for that reason, it gets three stars. This boat is incredibly easy to repair and maintain. Parts are very easily locally sourced and not overly expensive, so it gets five stars. And then finally, fun factor for this boat, it has a great layout. It can entertain everyone you'd like to entertain on it. And for that reason, it gets four stars. This brings our star total for the Sea Ray 510 to 39 stars. It's an excellent rating for this boat boat and I think it accurately represents everything it has to offer. Overall this boat would come highly recommended for anyone looking to get into a larger boat uh, without trying to get into over their head in size. So be sure to check out thecaptainsreview.com. We have articles on this boat as well as other boats like this. It also has a forum for you guys to share and talk and be a part of the community as well as merchandise to help support this channel. So be sure to check out that thecaptainsreview.com and thank you for sailing with us.